förra avsnittet av Ocean Avenue. Så so Jazz sa att uh, she had a sister i New Jersey. Her name was Lauren Ramsey. And she couldn't have any children, so she would take my baby until I could afford to send for her. So you gave the baby up? Yeah, but I always intended to come back and get her. It was a girl? Yeah. Well, at least that's what they told me. I think I can get Macy for this. Macy? Well, yeah, you said he had another woman he was seeing, right? Yeah. Hadley Marks? It was her, Sage. She's dead. Hadley, yeah. Did he tell you about this? Yes, he did. He said he didn't do it. Please, don't tell me you believe me. I do, I do. You come in. I'm surprised you could hear anything over all the puking in the bathroom. <laughs> Give me those. You know, between the morning sickness and the super duper multivitamins, I'm surprised you haven't made a little announcement yet. Was there something that you wanted, Macy? Now, now, Sage. No need to keep secrets from me. I already took the liberty of calling the doctor's office, and they just couldn't stop congratulating me over my impending fatherhood. <laughs> okay, you know. Now what? Well. Need I state the obvious? The deal is off. <laughs> well, in that case, you're bouncing a little kiddo to be with the visiting you behind bars, won't he? No, I don't think so. You've got too much sentiment for that, haven't you? You wouldn't do that to the father of your unborn child. I mean, what would the little bastard say once he's old enough to blame you? You'd probably count his blessings that you only had to see you on visiting day. Those are harsh words, Sage, even for you. Did I hurt your feelings, Macy? <laughs> what feelings would those be? No, but if you did want to hurt my feelings, I suppose you could let me think that this attitude of yours comes from the fact that the child isn't mine. Now, that would really raise my ire. So much so, in fact, that I would have you declared an unfit mother. After all, with the boozing and the whoring, what kind of example could you set? You are such scum. But to this scum, you are bound at the hip. Lock, stock, and stinking barrel, and don't you forget it. Oh, yes. <clears throat> About my alibi. We were home, in bed, all evening, cuddled up, picking out names for the little man. Bye-bye, Mom. someday. And you're gonna have one of those big tour buses with your name on the side. And all those groupies just hanging out waiting for your autograph. Oh, I'm gonna be so jealous. <laughs> no, you're not. 
because you will know that there's only one person out there for me. That's you. Yeah. Yeah. I have an idea, Alex. I know what we need to do. What do we need to do? Run away. Can we do that, Alex? Can we just take off and never come back? That article practically accuses you of being part of a cover-up. I can read, Catherine. Well, is it true? It's not that simple. This is not going to go away, Martin. You know, the police reopened that jazz case. I heard. That, plus these articles, a lot of people have some heavy explaining to do, beginning with our beloved commissioner. Not that I wouldn't do cartwheels to see him in the hot seat. <laughs> well, I imagine we'll all get our turn. Was jazz blackmailing you, Martin? You and Jack, is that how it all started? She had this kid that she tried to pass off as Jack's. What kid? I don't remember her ever being pregnant. She says she had it up north at her sister's. Said she left it there. She had a lot of pictures. Did you ever check it out? <sighs> when the campaign got rolling, Jazz started making threats. I tried to pay her off, but she wasn't having any of it. She wanted Jack to divorce Anne and marry her. I told Jack not to go there that night, but he said, no, 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 I can, I can make her listen. You know, talk some sense into her. <laughs> so I went with her. Well, this is cozy. I got the two of you boys for the price of one. <laughs> You know what, Jazz? You're not going anywhere with this. Martin, I can take care of this. Yeah, Martin, this is between me and Jack. Jazz, you know as well as I do that this kid, even if it does exist, could belong to any one of us. Are you calling me a liar? You're damn straight I am. Hey, I don't have to take this. Martin, come on, man. Hey, you know what? Maybe, maybe I'll just sell my story to Frickin' Life magazine. What do you think of that, huh? And, and maybe I can even get myself a movie deal out of it. Yeah, well, maybe we'll see how far you get with that. Get out of here, Martin. All right, let me handle it. Hey, I'm not going to be handled by anyone, all right? And you know what? You have some nerve. Come on, man. I'll be OK. Go down to the rally. Yeah, Marty, go down to the rally. Make sure all the cheerleaders are waving their jack banners. I'll meet you at the rally. Yeah. Then I left. I get a call from him later on that night. He's a wreck. He's yelling and screaming in the phone. Something horrible's happened. So I go back. His shirt is covered in blood. Jazz is lying in bed. Her head is bleeding. But by God, she was alive. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. Martin, I was there before you went back. What? I told her to leave you alone. We got into a fight. I knocked her down and she hit her head. What are you saying? I thought for sure I killed her. How did you find out about Lauren Ramsey? By accident. Okay. Tony was trying to locate her. After Crystal Tate came to ask me all those questions, he knew I was very, very upset. Well, it shouldn't be difficult to find a death certificate. I know, but the whole thing is just so strange, though. Strange how? 
I used my own name in the hospital. But the only record of a birth on that date in that hospital, December 25th, 1976, is the one of twin sons, Lauren Ramsey's. So Jazz must have used her sister's name. Apparently. Which still doesn't explain why there's no record of your delivery of a baby girl. Right. There's another thing. Right before I left to go to Rome, Jazz told me about her son. And according to the record, she had twins. And here's the really odd thing. Crystal Tate tried to locate Lauren Ramsey too, so she called the house, you know, thinking that Lauren Ramsey was dead. But the person who answered was her son. So there's your lead. Except he said his name was Cameron. Well, that's the name I gave my little girl. Well, well, well. If this is an ESP, I don't know what is. Hey, Tommy. How goes the cops and robbers game? Well, I'd say we just scored one on the side of law and order since you walked in the door. Saves me the trouble of hauling your ass in for questioning. Let's just leave my ass out of this, okay, Tommy? I was in the neighborhood and I just stopped in to share some good news with you. I would have brought you a cigar, except you should be the one giving me the cigar. Well, if the occasion is me arresting Hadley Marx's killer, I'd say you're right about that. It's too bad about poor Hadley. Yeah, I'm sure she felt the same way when you were choking the life out of her last night. Last night? No. What was I doing last night? Oh, yeah, that's right. I was cuddled up in bed all night with Sage. Last night. Last night. And if you don't believe me, Tommy, you just go right ahead and ask her, hey, you want to know what we were doing? We were picking out baby names for our little hayseed. That's right. Little Macy Jr.'s growing like a weed. I just wanted you to be the first one to know, Uncle Tom. just run away. What about school, graduation? I don't care about any of that, Alex. You'll never let us see each other again. You're gonna ship me off to that convent school. No, I won't let him do that. There's nothing you can do. Me neither. What if when I go home, he tries to lock me up like he did with my mother? You're really scared, aren't you? Yes. Okay. Here's how it's gotta be. You're gonna stay right here with me until we think of something to do. Okay? What about your aunt? Charlotte's gonna be cool with it once we explain it to her. Listen, I'm not gonna let anything bad happen to you, Elena. I promise you. You trust me, don't you? Hey, it's me. Why haven't you answered any of your calls? Don't tell me that. Why? Because I have access to the answering machine, that's why. You're not in the brownstone, are you? D don't lie to me, all right? Don't lie to me, Cameron. Listen, we gotta get together, or else this whole thing's gonna get blown out of proportion. Are you here? In Miami. Look, calm, just calm down, calm down, calm down, okay? Have you been taking your medication? Look, you need to take your meds, okay? Take your meds. All right, look. I want you to meet me. Yeah, we have to talk face to face. When? I want to see you now. Cameron? Cameron?
So there's a guy who's saying he's Lauren Ramsey's son. His name is Cameron, which was the name you gave your daughter. And she was raised by the same family? Until she died. But there's no record of her death. I'm not sure there's a logical explanation. Well, I'm not. You know, the more I think about it, the more I get this creepy feeling. Well, maybe we should start by calling the Ramsey house and asking questions. Yeah, but I'm not so sure that they would tell me the truth. Why wouldn't they? Because maybe, just maybe, my baby's alive. She left me a note that she was going out with Will. So it's pretty much just us. Good. Yeah. force you into doing anything, unless you're totally ready. You're not forcing me. It's okay. I did something last week that I didn't tell anybody. What? I went to the women's clinic and got on the pill. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. You have to do things right. If we're gonna be together, we have to be responsible. I totally agree. So, that means that we could... Yeah. <laughs> if that's why you just stopped. And you're totally sure about this? Totally sure. flashes. I think I saw the man who killed my dad. Hey! I wasn't expecting you. Really? Yeah. What were you expecting? Macy? Macy? Yeah. No. What's the matter with you? Macy stopped by the station house. Really? Yeah. Why? Well, he pretty much wanted to let me know he wasn't a suspect in Hadley's murder. Want to know why? Seems he spent the night with you. Now, you can imagine how surprised I was when I got that bit of information. I can explain. It this, gets Thomas. better. It gets better. He said I should ask you because you'd verify it. Thomas, it... it... Wait, wait. I'm not finished, Sage. <gasps> he said the reason he remembers it so well was because you guys were going over baby names because of the great news you just got. Is it true? Well, I didn't want you to find out this. Is time. it true? Are you pregnant? Yes, it's true. I'm pregnant. How could you do that? How could you sleep with that after we were together? I don't, I don't understand, Sage. 
Thomas. No, 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 don't. Just don't give me any more lies, all right? I know you're never gonna leave Mason. Thomas, I can explain I've this. I've heard all I want to hear. That's it. I am through with you. And I mean it this time. We are Thomas, over. Please, please. Over. Please, Thomas. Oh, my God. In next episode of Ocean Up. Mr. Ryan? Do you think that, um, do you think we could talk for a little bit? Chrissy, <laughs> you're starting to have a guilty conscience. Why would I? Because you know exactly how Tony's sketches got into my You know what? I am so sick and tired of you, Gabby. Sooner or later, everything's gonna come out, sweetheart. And you and I know exactly what went down. I don't have to listen to this. Yes, you do. Because you know damn well that you were there when I was looking at those sketches. He's not gonna hurt me. He thinks we're a team. Crystal, he's a freaking psychopath! Does that tell you anything? Harry, I think you should calm down. You know, your blood pressure is going up to your hairline. All right, Crystal, that's it. You're forcing my hand here. Are you gonna spank me? No. I'm taking you off the serial killer story. 